and welcome back to our survival roleplay on Jack Pine. There's been quite a lot happened in between the last episode. What I need to do first is just quickly grab the 445. It is 445 and not 455, isn't it? 445, yeah. And we need to find the bucket wherever that is. And just do a bit of maintenance on the farm. That must be down where the pigs is. So this really isn't the end we're going to concentrate on in a minute. It's down the other side where fields two and three is. But as you'll see from the top right hand corner, we've generated quite a lot of income in the last sort of day or so. I've got it on times one, I'll get it on times five. That looks like these were still quite full. I know the um, the greenhouse is in dire need though. So yeah, you'll have seen the money's come from logging. I'll have put the the clips in, probably time lapse clips, right at the beginning of the video. And we have made an absolute fortune from it. And the other benefit of that is, is that we've cleared a huge amount of space. which I will show you shortly. What I want to get done today is the seeding, but as you'll see shortly, there's a couple of things we need to do before we can get that done. So that's basically that's why we're not filling the greenhouse. We're just doing as much as we can to uh, keep it going. Right, we'll go back down to the others. Right, that in front of us is field two, as you might recognise by the shed at the bottom, and that's the space that we've cleared. We've also, you won't be able to see it from here, but field three has also extended quite a lot, but we'll go and see that shortly, because basically the bits that we need to do now will need liming. Oh, on, field, on field three you'll be able to see it quite clearly. Why is that locking? We've seen how quickly this uh, gets through its work, so this won't be overly long. And then we need to get seeding. We've seen the issue that we had uh, last year because we planted quite late. Then we tried to leave the potatoes in for a longer period. Um, that was purely to do with price, basically, because I had nowhere to store them. And then we struggled, didn't we? We had a tiny window to get all the work done, which wasn't ideal. I mean, this is going to be an absolute massive boost to be able to um, 
have fields the size that we do now compared to what we were working with last year it's going to generate so much more income Go straight over that. Yep. Right, what I'll do, I'm going to quickly put a time lapse on because I need it done. While we've been away, I've um, filled this up as much as we could and I've filled the water up. We've run out of manure, so I couldn't fill it up right to the top. The reason I did that, I was planning on putting our crop in today. However, we haven't got the temperature to do it, and I thought we would have. It's still really cold, so we can't get a crop in today. So what we're going to do instead is... We're still gonna tab over to the shop, which I don't normally do, but and we're gonna make a purchase, and that purchase is gonna be this. So a propelled sprayer. It's one hundred eighty-five thousand, and we're gonna buy that outright. I don't know how long this has been on Mod Hub for, but I've only just noticed it within the last few days. And as soon as I seen it, I knew exactly what episode it was, uh, what episode, what series it was going on. It was only ever coming on this series. I was looking to upgrade the way we fertilise anyway, so and this is it. We've made so much money as well with um, with our new logging setup. I know it's gone 25 mile now, or 24, sorry, but it doesn't seem very powerful. I'm not overly confident it's going to get up here.
should pick up now, I'm going... Yeah. Just, with this going sideways a bit. I mean, I was right not to be confident, wasn't I? We've only just caught up here. Garden temperature, it really needs to pick up because we're getting quite late now, and the ground temperature is still only four degrees. Right, just jump out of here a second because now we have that. We need a liquid tank, and we're going to be using one of these. I just don't know which one. I don't know what the difference is. I think it's just cosmetic, the difference. Right. We'll go for that one, and it might as well be where the other one is. I sort of put it in line with that, and then we'll do some um, some groundwork after. It's going to be a few grand this, isn't it? Which I'm not overly bothered about, to be honest. Yeah, 3,600 to fill it. I have no idea if these are freshly fertilised or what. I can't remember. But we'll give it a go. This one might be. not changing colour, is it? No. We'll go down to the other one. I say the other one, the other two. And we'll get them done. And then what I might do is just jump forward to tomorrow. Or in-game day tomorrow. And see what the temperature's like. Because we need to get crops in the ground, really. It looked like it was going to spray quite qu quickly there as well, didn't it? Twelve mile hour. It's not bad. Yeah, and it's putting the fertilising state down as well. I know it's a lot to spend on um, on a way to fertilise our crops. However, with it being self-propelled, 
it means I don't, I don't need two decent sized tractors. I only need our fast track, which I can keep doing, keep for something else. I'm not having to go back and forth between the different locations, especially as we grow as well. This is a bit that's already been done. So that shows you how much bigger the field is compared to what it was. around there yeah yes yeah, so that is basically the old field there it must easily be well it's at least three times bigger isn't it possibly even more Right, we'll get this done. What I think I'll do is a couple of little bits off camera, such as go and get a big pile of manure. Um, I might even fertilise that field over there because I want to jump to the next in-game day so we can get this um, soil temperature up so we can start getting planting. So I'll be back very shortly. Okay, so we up the store, and the reason for that is we need to buy a planter, and the one we're going to get, and I've already looked because we've had two days waiting, is this one here. So I can so and fertilise. We will put both in when we get down. I think we'll put both in. I'll sort that out in a bit. We've got a mod conflict. I've just um, added some new ones on there. I'll say that. Seems alright. Does it? Seems alright from back there, doesn't it? Right, so it's going to be 63,000. We'll buy that. And that leaves us with 27. Right, we'll get back over the farm, we'll get it filled. Right, so, over our fields, we filled up, as you can see, we've got fertiliser and we've got seed, and it's going to be corn that we're putting in. I apologise if anything in the first few minutes of this video, if I repeat anything, that is because... I'm recording this something like four days 
this section's about four days after the initial uh, whatever it was. I don't know if it's like six, seven minutes, something like that. And that's simply due to uh, my farm and life, the roleplay. Because I need to get them videos done. Um, the sort of... This one took a bit of a uh, back step. So, yeah, if I do if I do mention anything again, then I apologise. So what we're doing, and I need to check now, is if we go on to that. It's not putting another fertilising state down, is it? But it is taking it off us. I was saying that. Is it only taken? It's only taken a tiny bit off us. So I wonder if it's only only doing it where it absolutely needs to. Because what I did was, what I can remember saying before we left the last one was that I was gonna possibly spray the fields with our new sprayer, which I did. Got a log car in the back of the planter as well. So yeah, because of that, um, putting them fertilising states down, that might be why we're not getting anything on here. Apparently we're using next to no fertiliser, so it's not really costing us anything. We'll just have to spray them once we get the first um, well we could do it straight away couldn't we as soon as it's planted but once we get the first lot of growth through we'll probably do the spray and then so corn the reason for that um, there's a couple really I haven't done on this map obviously we did potatoes and if we needed to we could use it for feed for the pigs however what I tend to find now with um, now that a couple of mods are out it's actually cheaper to feed the pigs through buying pig food and then sell your crop which is probably what we'll do but We've always, we've always got that sort of backup where if we were running short we could um, rely on our corn. And it's just decent to do isn't it? I think it yields quite well. What I didn't particularly want to do was um, mix the three fields where I would need specific types of headers for uh, for the three fields because I know I've been spending money quite freely at the minute but we are going to need a combine and we're also going to need a silo as well so this buying whatever equipment I want is going to have to slow down a bit, I think. But certainly, this field, which I know we call field number two, and that field which is field number three 
I think um, it's going to be Khan in M2, without a doubt. And then I'll have to decide for field number one, I'm not sure. But we are restricted to whatever we can do with this planter. Or our... Have I even got... Did I sell that, the potato planter or not? I can't remember if I did or not. Which I'm not going to do potatoes again anyway, so it will literally be whatever I can um, get out of this one. This will be going out on um, Tuesday. What would it be? Tuesday the 12th. Uh, so you'll have just had sort of the three. Let's turn that off. The three um, latest episodes of My Farm and Life. So I can't believe I've missed that tiny little bit there. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Like I said, I've, I know I've said before, there's still loads more to come with that. Absolutely tons. I think in these, I don't want to say too much in case you want to go and watch it, but we finally think, think things are starting to settle down and then yeah I go and do what I did I know this is completely inefficient, what I've just done there. And it annoys me, the fact that I've done it. Oh, I don't know if um, you realised or not, but I'm sure the in-game morning when we recorded before this section was mid spring I think day four mid spring and as you can see it's now day six late spring the reason for that is simply the temperature I had to wait for the ground temperature to come up so I could plant the corn we still not at the desired 10 but obviously it it should germinate fine I just didn't want to leave it any longer. I mean, we've only just come into that corn planting window anyway, but... I'm desperate not to get into the situation where we got into last year with the potatoes where we had a matter of hours to get our crop out the ground. Because that's what it was in the end. It was a really, really small window to get sorted. And I know with a few of them, we didn't even we didn't even get the full fields done. Really, there was quite a lot, which is why, if you see there and this little section here, because this was the original field two, you can see how much we've made it bigger. Um, all these bits there are missed bits of potatoes that's been uh, cultivated back in. And that's purely down to, well, it's down to two things actually. Me making an, the wrong choice with equipment. And the fact that we had no time to fix it.
over the two days, well, the day and a bit, that we um, we jumped, I haven't just jumped a bit. Uh, obviously, we had the pigs to look after, although I haven't sold any more. And the greenhouse we had to keep topped up, which we have done. The other thing that we've done is... I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is, but we've started another project. But you'll probably see that in the next in game after night again. I'm gonna have missed that tiny bit. The next in game day will go through that. Then there's still quite a bit to do on it. But like I said, we'll go through that then. That's going to initially generate us quite a lot of cash though. Which like I said, we do need. Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a time lapse on, we will finish doing this field here, and we'll probably go and do field 3, and in the time we do that, I'll think what we're going to put in field 1. So, we'll be back shortly. So we're just about done, or we will be if I can engage this planter again. Before I did this final section, I just went into share factory just to see roughly how long it was going to be to see how much I've missed a little bit again. That's doing my head in that. Just to see how much sort of wriggle room we had with what we're going to be doing after we did this field. The answer to that is absolutely none whatsoever because I didn't realise that I'd already recorded nearly 17 minutes of footage or actual footage that I was using prior to coming back on this but I suppose that is the result of doing these two segments four days apart. So once we get this done, that's going to be it for this video. In the next video we will have to sort field one out. I'm probably just going to put corn in that as well, you know. There's no point in not. Like I've already said, I'd have to buy another header if I want to put something like so a cereal crop or something like that in like wheat or barley, something like that, rye, if you can get rye in this map, I don't know if you can, um, I'm going to have to buy another header, and that's something I don't want to do, and I also don't want to put potatoes back in. It just makes sense, doesn't it, to put corn in all three. It's too small to put sunflowers in. 
I'd hardly get any return off it. Right, field three done. And on that, we're going to say goodbye. So, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you again next time.